We're going to try something else new today, but first I'm going to prime my eyes with the Fenty Eyeshadow Primer. I don't have brushes out or anything. <laughs> oh, goodness. Today we're also going to try the Maybelline News of New York. I was looking at this palette before I started this video and I noticed that like this side can be your neutral everyday side and this side can be your smoky evening side or everyday for those who like deeper colors on their lids or in their crease and so we're going to do because I'm holding it upside down we'll use this half of the palette on this side <laughs> and this half of the palette on this side I'm going to take this shade here on the inner portion of the lid I'm going to take this shade here and on the center of the lid I'm going to take this shade here on the outer corner <laughs> I just realized I'm using the same brush for all of these shadows <laughs> like the same exact one one of them finally died and so now I have three of these but this is the same one I use for all of these shades I'm going to wipe it off and then go in and just blend in between. I'm going to wipe it off and then blend in between over here. I'm going to switch brushes. In a corner highlight, we're going to take this shade down here. So that on the inner corner. Ooh. We're also going <laughs> to take that as a brow bone highlight very lightly because. I didn't realize it was going to be that, what's the word, dusty. Well, not dusty, but I don't even know what to call that. So we're going to go back with that first brush, and we're going to go in with the shade we used for our inner corner, and we're going to put some of that back to tone down the paleness of that shade. Okay, that's better. Right, and also lightly dust right there. I'm going to take a clean brush, and we're going to go in initially with this shade we're just going to put that underneath just to start and we're also going to take that as the transition then we're going to take this shade here which one <laughs> this shade here as a transition shade also using the same brush i'm going to take that down to the outer corner a little bit I'm going to take that first color we put as a transition, same brush, I did wipe it off, and we're going to go over that to blend the transition in with the top of the lid colors. And we're also going to take that dark shade and just smoke out the lower lash line, just because. I'm going to take a smaller brush, and I'm going to go in with this shade here and put that under the lower lash line using a smaller brush so we can get closer to my lash line I'm going to take a clean brush and just buff that so we've used every shade on this side except this one all right moving to the other eye seems like there's more mattes on this side I'm going to take this pinky shade here and they do have names it's just quicker for me to just point and say this is what it is. We're going to move over to this shade. Oh, I stuck my finger in it. Didn't mean to do that. I'm going to put that in the center of the lid. I'm trying to see which looks deeper. We're going to take this one and put it on the outer corner. And we're going to another brush we're going to we're going to take this shade into the crease I'm kind of scared this is a deep color but this is a deep look so we're just going to go with it we're going to take a small brush and we're going to take that same shade and we're going to run that on the lower lash line
I'm going to take that crease brush with no additional shade, which actually was that same shade. And actually, you know what? Let's dip into this one and run that under here. Then we're going to take a smaller brush and we're going to go into this shade here. Use that for inner corner. And also as a brow bone highlight, that same shade. I bring that down too far. The brush we used for blending. I'm just going to try to tone this down a little bit up here. Actually, I'm going to take this shade from the other side and try to tone that down. I'm looking at these trying to figure out what can I do to fix this. And I don't think any of these colors are going to fix this. This harsh line right here. It's not moving. All right, let's move on. I'm going to take a clean, flat shader brush. I'm going to take this shade here. And we're going to put that on the center of the lid to try to liven up this look some. And we're going to go into this shade here and put that on the lid. I'm going to take some eyeshadow primer. I'm going to take that same shade, this one here. Maybelline is making me work. Oh man. I'm going to take a clean blending brush. I'm going to go into the Natasha Denoni Camel Palette and we're going to take this shade here. And we're going to try to diffuse this line right here. So this is what we're working with. Uh-oh. My eye is tearing. I'm going to take matte black track fluid line with an angled liner brush. I'm going to cut this part out. Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I am really not liking this eye. You know what I'm going to do before I put that on? I'm going to go back into the camo palette and I'm going to take this light shade here, put that on the first third of my lid. I'm going to take that blending brush, the last one we used, I'm going to buff that over. I like that a lot better. Okay. As if we didn't do this already. Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I know I'm being so silly. As a, that probably doesn't help. Then one. I'm so used to that Fenty sample one, which was only like this big. So I'm used to holding the entire thing like right here. And so it feels weird <laughs> holding this way back here and putting mascara on. It feels like I have no control over where <laughs> the wand bristles are going, which I actually do, but I'm just not used to having my hand so far away. I like the mascara. I'm going to have to wash my face when this is done because this eye right here, the one I'm currently working on is tearing. Okay, I need to stop because it's getting a little clumpy. And so I think the key is to wiggle and then go through and just spike it. Because when I put that additional layer on, it started getting clumpy. This eye is tearing badly. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like traveling up my crease because it's going up this way. Oh my gosh. Bear with me, we're gonna try which one of these lips do we need to try. I think I'm gonna do this one on this side. I don't know why I was holding those that way. I am like so awkward. I think we're gonna do this one on this side and this one on this side. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. So this color is Blossom. I realized I forgot my blush today, too. 
I still do have on chapstick. I didn't wash it off. I'm kind of rushing now because this eye is really tearing and irritated and I need to wash my face. And so I'm just trying to get through this video. I think I need a lip liner with this. But it is a pretty color, very neutral color, which is good because this is the neutral side. This color is Carnation. I like the wands on here. I like this color. This one I do not need a lip liner. It actually says what I do with the box. These are lip creams. So, <laughs> this is one look. And this is the other look. Let me know what you think, minus the tearing. <laughs> this is this eye. And this is this eye. So thank you for watching. Let me know if you have any questions about anything. And you will see me, oh gosh, in the next video. I'm struggling, y'all. Alright, I'm going to go. You'll see you next video. Thanks, guys. If you have any of these products, let me know how they work, work for you, how you like them. Um, if you plan on trying them. The next video, we're going to get into the Nabla Cutie Palette. So I will see you then. Thanks. Bye.